Hello, everyone at Infium. I'm excited to be back for a B&B chain episode. You asked for some continuum, folks. I brought you some amazing AI and global cross-border payment interoperability, um, as well as some incubator resources from Moonriser. Uh, there's a lot going on at Continuum, just to plug what we're doing. Uh, you guys can follow all of it, see our deck, our thesis, sign up, get involved uh, with our network of Web3 business intelligence at continuum.market and follow us on social at Continuum3000. We're excited to be here and I'm really excited to introduce Brandon Cooper from AI, um, um, AFID. Uh, they're doing amazing things in AI. He'll get about five minutes to uh, show off on that. Yeah, but as she mentioned, uh, I'm Brandon Cooper. I'm a Detroit native. I currently reside in Los Angeles, California. I uh, started this company uh, during my, uh, after working for Apple. I was working for Apple for seven years as a senior technology advisor. And uh, like every other job, they were working me like a dog. And I said, uh, I wish I could clone myself and have a version of me doing these digital tasks while I was at the beach, just shadowing it, doing its work. And, uh, you know, at the time, this was probably like 2018, 2019-ish um, through ideation. And uh, I took the the final leap from Apple around 2020 uh, to start the company uh, with Sean Ross and Sri Romani, uh, the other co-founders, and hit the fast forward button. Our CTO is Chad Thomas. He built MySpace. Uh, he joined the company in 2021, and we've been building since then, and uh, we just soft launched on iOS. Uh, but what we've created ultimately is an artificial intelligence network that allows people to save time and earn money from digital bots they control. Uh, at a typical job, you're used to trading time for money. You're either going into work, um, you know, you have to put in your hours, and then you get paid after two weeks. This is a very 1960s, 1970s way of living and uh, doing labor. So what we've invented is a way for people to leverage that time where the bots are doing a lot of repetitive tasks online. So that could be in the form of a chat bot, that could be in the form of automated trading bots in the ecosystem. And what we've done is we put this into, and encapsulated ultimately into a mobile app interface. As I mentioned, it's, so we just soft launched on iOS. Uh, you can see the interface over here to the right. Uh, but it's a very turnkey solution. It's a marketplace that requires no code. So developers, even with pre-existing AI tools, can list it in the marketplace. Uh, so that's connected through either API or it's using uh, PWA through iframing, if you're familiar with what, what that is. Almost like Pinterest or Etsy as you're going through and then utilizing different, different pages when you click on certain products. Ours works the same way. And what we do is we, we push everything to one dashboard. So... On this dashboard, every time your robot works a task, you'll get a push notification and it'll let you know, congrats, Mariana, your, your AFIT clone just earned you $5 because it sold a product on your website. So it just really just depends on what this task is. Uh, me personally, I, I deem it to be the greatest invention of the 21st century uh, because it gives people time back with their family. So you know what we've done is we put digital workers in your pocket. That's the simplistic way of, of thinking about it. It's like having a AI employee, so to speak, in your pocket. Uh, and this is built primarily for the gig economy use cases. And then we have some SMB use cases, uh, as I mentioned, like chatbot and some other things that we haven't um, unveiled to the public yet, but um, you know, working on some things for Continuum as well and, and other partners in the Continuum uh, network. And uh, we were just featured on uh, Forbes um, as of like two days ago. So sorry, guys, shameless plug, but I just want you guys to check it out. It's just, it's just a great read. Um, but yeah, we, we created this network and um, excited to be contributing to the, uh, you know, the, the AI wave that's happening right now. It's kind of caught up to what we, what we were building and the, the, like chat GPT and things have, have made it a lot uh, easier for um, AI to be uh, digestible, right? Uh, where it, it's, it's less scary. And uh, we build other solutions too. We do have some identity things too. For those who are interested in that, we've invented uh, AFID, which is a decentralized login system that allows you to control all of your data. So instead, like you would sign in with Google or you would sign in with Facebook, AFID allows you to have everything in one particular place. And all the data is stored on IPFS, which is a decentralized network uh, that's encrypted. So that that if you create an, an, an AFID with AFID, 
your data isn't actually being stored uh, in our databases being stored in IPFS. Um, and then we've also minted uh, the ABON, the ABON token uh, is going to be chain agnostic. Uh, at the time we had uh, minted it on uh, Solana, but we're uh, working on Polygon now, Ethereum, and then also Near. But the ABON is basically used to power the bots in the ecosystem for pro users. Um, so the utility of the token is used as proof of powering. Basically, you have proof that you powered the bot to work out in the network. So our business model, whether it's it's B2C or B2B, it's all subscription-based. So uh, depending on how many bots you want to operate at a time, you choose a subscription plan that works best for you. Yeah, that's my spiel. So I can subscribe to a whole bunch of bots. I love it. Because right now I'm paying for everything I use. I've been using AI in my productivity tools for several years now. So everything that I could find, I was literally searching for it back in 2020. And we have a newsletter called Rasa. Dot io, which, you know, if you were a reader of our newsletter, one of the 17,000 we send out every Sunday, and you look at more on AI articles versus like Web3, it will send you more AI versus Web3. So that was like the first foray. Then I use something called Close, C-L-Z-E, which is basically mm -hmm. an AI-powered sort of um, email organization tool. But all of those will be basically in your app. Is that the idea? And so I can subscribe to all of them at once. And then you would like a Netflix of AI apps, pay them out for my usage time? Or how do you calculate that? Yes, yeah, so if you're a developer, you basically, um, you still get all your data. Your users still have to sign up with you and then connect to your API. If you don't have an API, it basically is it's just an affiliate. So it just, we're, we're referencing it into the network. So the beauty of AFID, of AFID is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a big advocate of, of competition. I like to, you know, we want to list everything that's out there. So if you have an AI tool and something you want to promote, uh, we want to list it in the marketplace. Uh, and then we as AFID, we, you know, we get the subscriptions from it as well. And then you as the developer, you earn the money through API calls as well as whatever you charge for your service. Okay, so it's like, it's almost like you charge a fee to access to this marketplace. And then if, if you know, uh, Rasta charges there, you know, they're pretty expensive because they charge per person that you email to. But whatever their fee is, they can still charge that on top of it, in essence. Okay. Correct. We, the, those are the third party use cases. And then we as AFIT, we build use case, uh, native use cases as well. Like our first proof of concept is called Nucleus. It's an AI data entry bot that basically ge is, it generates um, AI text messages to invite people to AFIT. Um, and then it's going to go into other other forms like tweets and everything else. So um, that's, that's what we put out, out there now. That's awesome. I'm loving this. Thank you so much for sharing.